Hello, welcome back to Beno Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna be creating this uh, kind of like a virtual zeotrope. Uh, this is uh, actually the finished product. It's a USDZ, and this will work as AR on the iPhone or the iPad. But uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna be creating this uh, using Blender, and I already have this uh, these photos. Uh, by Mui, uh, Mui Bridge, actually, the photographer. Um, and he's famous for this kind of, this type of animations. Uh, you basically need like 12 to 18 stills of uh, an animation of some sort. And you're just gonna bring it into Blender. I will be using animation nodes for this. Uh, you can also use Redshock, but uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So first of all, we're gonna need to load the animation. So we need to import images as planes and I already have the image in here the white horse okay select all the image make it shadeless but uh, don't use alpha and yeah just load the image the first thing you do when when you load all the image control G to group it uh, you will understand why not later. So this is animation zeotrope. Sometimes it's called zoetrope or zeotrope. I think it's called zoetrope. Okay, save and go to compositing animation nodes. I have it here on Blender 2.79, and we're gonna be using objects from group. I believe I've done something similar in the past, but uh, this is kind of interesting and simpler. So we need uh, some kind of matrix distribution. It's gonna be circular. And we also need matrix output. So we have our objects, which is our image. And we have our matrix circle. The amounts of objects is depending on the total number of the objects. So that's what we do. Look at the materials. Okay, cool. And we just need to spin it. There's uh, actually a lot of ways to do this. You can spin it in many different ways. You can actually do it this way. And it's, uh, it's going to make the animations. That's, uh, that's ne the next thing I'm thinking to do. Some kind of uh, spinners. Now, the rotations is of course kind of wrong, so we need to rotate it. And we need to use matrix math, and maybe, I think rotation matrix. Rotation matrix, we have X, Y, Z, and all. Let's use all. Uh, we just need to multiply this like so. And rotate it. 90 degree something and this this also will work this is more like a, more like a flip book if you like you have you still have control over everything so this also can be kind of interesting now you just need to spin it right so in order to spin it you 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 can also do it this way so this is the rotations and when you rotate, if you do it this way and then rotate, you can see it's, a, it's gonna rotate it again. If that's what you want, but uh, in our case, we want to do the opposite. Ah, there's a bug. Okay, I think this should kind of work, yeah. So you just need to plug this into the frame. And yeah, something like that. Save this. Save it again. And try to now just spin it. Just use math. And multiply this until you see an animation. So when you're dragging this, you want to find the right numbers 
you can uh, use you can hold a shift and option I think or just hold option and then start dragging until you see an animation see at some point you just get it right so that's uh, actually pretty much it but uh, we don't stop there uh, let me let me save this. I actually quite like this uh, flipbook one. It's very really nice. Um, yeah. This this is like still made of many objects, right? But it is actually more efficient if you if you simply um, join all of this. So currently we have multiple of objects and multiple of objects, and then also multiple of materials. If you select all and then join it, we're gonna end up with a single object with uh, all these multiple materials assigned into the face of this object. So a single, a single material will be so much uh, simpler and more efficient. So save it as bake. Currently, it's still still gonna spin. So no problem there. And all we need to do is just to bake it. So animation nodes and just simply bake it. Sometimes uh, that's really all you need to do. So bake to keyframe, and yeah, you you just stop everything. You can you can actually delete everything by now, and you have everything baked. You can save it as alembic if you want to test it. Um, Another way I want to show you, of course, instead of baking it like this, um, you can also use driver if you like. So we are back to where we where we are before. Um, you can zero everything here. So center pivot or set origin to geometry. Rotate this. Apply rotation. And rotate the Z. So if you put a hash frame, it's going to generate a Python drivers. It's going to rotate our horse. And we can time 0 0.5. And we have this horse kind of doing what it's doing. Um, if you want to go to <coughs> graph editor and go to under driver, select our props attributes, you can kind of you can create a variable right with this object still selected. So we are moving away from nodes. Um, we can use our custom properties. You can call it anything, but this is we can we can call it malt multiplier make it value between 0 and 10 and yeah we can right click copy data path just paste it here actually let's stop this right click copy data path paste Oh, you cannot paste it. Okay, that's interesting. Um, supposed to be able to do that. And the new prop is here. Copy data path. Oh, select our objects first and then paste the prop. So we can have multiplier there. Run it again. And we can control control it here because what we are doing is really not just spin it in a certain way it's uh, we are spinning spinning it until we find the right speed and at the right speed we actually have the kind of like a strobing effect and it's causing it to rotate it at the, the right speeds until it's uh, it's kind of doing this really interesting effects 
sometimes actually kind of like flicker a little bit but it's actually kind of nice I'll show you the final result after this so let me try find a nice spot so before I kind of I kind of get it there must be like some kind of math behind it but uh, see there you go the horse is now doing this weird spin while it's animating as well and this actually works not just a uh, this works not just with a with an image this actually work with um 3d as well you can see how the, the arrow is spinning and we we don't see the flicker uh, in real real life if you want to do this you want to use kind of strobing light but uh yeah there you go that's the idea hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye